Now, because the energy on the table, oh my goodness, some of y'all, okay, we got the, okay, so I pulled from my, um, believe in your, own, no, what is it, believe in your own tar uh, tarot card deck, something like that, yeah, oracle deck, okay, and we got here the sun, paint back the sun, back into your sky, back into your world, and then we have here witch, justice is coming, baby, justice is coming, sweetie, okay, everything, ooh, y'all get the chills, everything that you have lost, Okay, in this season, last season, what have you. But however you've been going through some type of financial uh, strengths or whatever like that. I don't even say financial strengths, but you know, you... Some of y'all been okay. Some of y'all been trying to make it above water. Some of y'all, it's like you've been trying to, you know, saying hustle to get something or whatever like that. But there are so many obstacles in your freaking way is what I'm getting. But some of y'all realizing, okay, that you had to like see through the illusion when it comes, you know, when it comes to certain people or what have you. All right, is what I'm getting here. All right, you seeing past the illusion when it comes to a certain particular people, friends, hidden friends, you know, people here that don't really fuck with you or whatever like that. And you put all that energy back into yourself, but I'm getting somebody is now afraid of you because they see that you are in this dark, empathic energy because you've always been this loving, kind-hearted type of individual, okay? But you have to tap into that dark, empathic side is what I'm getting in order to get some shit done, okay? Because you can get crazy, but you can get crazy on an intelligent way. Some of you are very fucking intelligent and somebody here is afraid of your intelligence. I'm going to tell you that right now, okay? They are afraid of what you're going to do next is what I'm getting here. Okay? They're afraid that you're going to call them out on their shit. It's something like that because you're telling it like it is. Is what I'm getting here. Okay? Because you realize that some of these people here, you know... It's like, how can I say this? It's like for some of y'all, you are you are becoming emotionally intelligent because everybody expecting you to get crazy. I get crazy. I, I get crazy. I get crazy. I, I get crazy. But you ain't getting crazy. You handling in the situation in a more emotionally intelligent way because you already you are already hit to the game. You already know what these people expect of you is what I'm getting here. All right. And you flipping the script for whoever you are. You are flipping that goddamn gon' script, boo boo, on these people. People is what I'm getting here, okay? Yeah, some of y'all did some type of a cleanse, okay? Or it's like some of y'all even went to maybe a practitioner to get a cleanse or something like that so you can cleanse the financial strengths off of you, okay? The setbacks off of you or what have you, okay? It's what I'm getting here because some of y'all could have been in the five of pentacles energy, all right? But then you got some type of clarity, all right? Some type of clarity came towards you is what I'm getting here. And after that, it's like you've been a beast ever since, okay? You wish a motherfucker would or some type of energy like that is what I'm getting here. All right. Because now for some of y'all, it's like you simply are in this energy of feeling tired. Okay. Tired of people trying you. Tired of people trying to bully you. Tired of people, you know, playing in your face, smiling in your face, but really don't fuck with you like that. Really don't even like you is what I'm getting here. So it's like if you were to ever be in the same room with these people, okay? I'm telling you, I don't give a damn if it's a group of 10 people and you are the only one standing that got your back. All of these people are intimidated by you, baby, okay? Everybody's getting intimidated by you because at the end of the day, for some of y'all, you don't need nobody. These people need you is what I'm getting here. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Thank you guys so much for joining the Tierra's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome kings and queens out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a gentle reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does resonate and what doesn't, leave it all out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be a girl, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, honey. Y'all better get ready, okay? Get ready, get ready. Because some type of justice is coming towards you, boo boo. It surely is. I see some of you cleaning out your closet or some of you are packing or it's something here okay baby is what i'm getting here oh girl you can have a bat or a knife by your bed or you know say so you may have knives or bats or something like that hidden somewhere just in case it's mother you know what i'm saying or whatever like that it's like you ready to protect yourself type of energy or some of y'all just you know saying i don't know maybe you got a maze i mean what you call them uh taser a taser okay 
is what I'm getting in your closet or some of y'all can have, you know what I'm saying, a whoop de whoop de whoop pew pew. Okay, somewhere here, locked up, all right? Just the, I don't know, it's just like some of you are like not playing here, okay? And that's what's bringing in justice. See, you, on the other hand, all you had to do was see through the illusion is what I'm getting here. All you had to do was see through the illusion here, and that was brought you clarity because some of you, it's like you're so sweet, you're so, you know what I'm saying, loving and kind, but at the end of the day, baby, you know what I'm saying? See, let me tell you, the people get it confused about a good person and somebody that just have a pure heart. A good person, they, they make choices to be a good person. You feel what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? Like an empath like you, you just naturally that way, okay? You naturally are genu uh, genuine or what have you, okay? But it's like nobody expected for you. Okay, maybe some of y'all kind of numbed out a little bit. Like you went straight cold on a motherfucker or a couple of people here, okay? Like fuck you type of energy, but it's like in a more intelligent way. It's like some of y'all cut off some people with no explanation, okay? Like, you don't fuck with these people no more. Like, it is what it is. They feel stuff way. It is what it is. Because some of y'all are tired of the, you know what I'm saying, these people not being genuine with you, you know, appreciating you or whatever it may be, or just thinking that you're naive or you you scary or or you're not going to stick up for yourself or something of that nature, okay? It ain't even about that, okay? But silent is the deadly killer, honey. And you being silent out here. You ain't allowing nobody to know your moves. You ain't allowing nobody to call you, ask you no motherfucking questions or anything of that nature, okay? You're not with that anymore is what I'm getting here for some of y'all, for whoever you are, okay? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we got here, take risk. You're taking some type of a risk here, okay? It's what I'm getting because you're tired of people here playing on your fucking top, okay? Your crown chakra is what I'm getting. But people are seeing this change and the shift within you, okay? They see how you're being more stern with your approach and your words, okay? Like I said, you telling it like it is, Okay, and people are afraid of that because maybe one time, or one upon a time, you were very quiet. Okay, some of y'all, it's like, how can I say this? You could be, I had this a while back. Okay, you could be a crier. Okay, when you get mad, you cry or something like that. And some of y'all, y'all ain't even in that energy no more. You coming up real cold, real nonchalant, okay, or whatever like that. Some people are like, damn, do she got a soul? Oh, yes, you got a soul, boo-boo. Okay, oh, of course you got a soul, boo-boo, but you you ain't no pushover is what I'm getting here. But you don't give a damn how people looking at you, okay? Because these same people are the, you know, people that, Try to put illusion over your head, okay? Try to make it seem like you're crazy or, oh, you know what I'm saying? Try to make it seem like, you know, you didn't feel that energy, okay? You didn't feel that energy. You feel me coming from them or what have you, okay? Shit, you knew these motherfuckers was fake, all right? Is what I'm getting here. There's somebody here that's grieving over you as well, okay? This person, something is wrong with this person. They live in some type of a fantasy world, okay? Is what I'm getting. We have here... Uh, Capricorn, uh, Pisces, and Leo energy on the table, and the Queen of Swords. So, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here. Yeah, somebody's afraid of your emotional intelligence. That's what I'm getting here. All right, it's like some people here do not want to like cross paths with you as far as stepping on your toes, baby. Okay, it's like you're gonna get a lot of people here that is going to be not even like kissing your ass, but you know, trying to get on your good side, baby, is what I'm getting here straight up because they know something is up or they can feel that energy of you just like you know drifting away or what have you. They know you mean business, is what I'm getting here straight up. Okay. You're coming off too intelligent for these people. And these people are like, man, I can't get over nothing. I can't get over this person's head. This person is too intelligent. This person, they see what the hell really going on or whatever like that. Okay, I thought I can play this illusion or put this illusion over them for much longer so I can get what I can get out of this person. But some of y'all was like, fuck that. You cut off your emotions for some of y'all. Okay, is what I'm getting when it comes to these people. Okay, somebody that's depressed may want to try to pop up on you. Okay, there could be somebody here, but this person is afraid. They're hesitant right now to even come to your home if they know where you live at. Okay, because they know for a fact, okay, if they knock on that damn door, baby, they, they don't either get cussed out. Okay, but some of y'all, it ain't even about that. Like, how can I say this? They just, uh, they're afraid of your, the words that you say. Like I said, some of y'all are coming out very, very emotionally intelligent. Okay. It doesn't matter if somebody cry, plead, beg, anything of that nature. It's like you're going to be standing there like, it looks like you're disassociated with, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> what they're saying, but it ain't even that, okay? Like, you you, you done been there, done that. You done heard this person's game before, okay? Played it up before, okay? 
I'm tired of your lies, sweet talks, baby this, baby that, but your lies ain't working now. Look who's hurting now. See, I had to shut you down. I had to shut you down. Period. Top of energy. You feel me? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what else, spirit? What else? Yeah, you got some people here that's definitely depressed, okay? Be yeah, physically fit. Ooh, some of y'all could definitely be getting physically fit here, okay? You've been working out. You've been lifting weights or something like that. you just been working on your physique, okay? Is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Some of y'all could be also quitting a bad habit, okay? For some of y'all, uh, cigarettes. Yeah, you're working on your health. I can't make it up. You're eating right, okay? Some of y'all, it's like you're, you're cutting out, I don't know, maybe some cigarettes or weed or whatever like that. Whatever it may be, okay? It's like you laying low. Ooh, summertime. This is, yeah, some of y'all getting ready for the summertime, okay? It's what I'm getting here. Yeah, and I'm telling you, you got some people here that's intimidated by you. These people here want some type of closure with you, okay? We got here relationship material. See, the thing about this could be access. For some of y'all, this could be like uh, friends, family, or whatever like that. They see that you are a good-ass friend. You were, you was a good-ass lover or something of that nature. Like, But they're intimidated now because it's like they want closure because it's like the tables have turned. That energy has returned, okay? You ain't studying these people no more, okay? They didn't give a fuck. They took advantage of the time that you spent with them. So with that being said, you ain't giving them no time, no closure, no nothing, period. Okay, it's what I'm getting here. All right, you know these people here ain't gonna change. But let me tell you, I'm telling you, there's a lot of people here that's gonna try to come back and seek some type of forgiveness, y'all. But you gotta be smart. Like I said, but I see that you are in that energy of that emotionally intelligent energy is what I'm getting here because the next card we got is playing games. So they thinking that they could they could come back and they could come back in and just like you know, seek your forgiveness, you know, plead their case, whatever it may be. But guess what? They're going to turn around again and do you dirty. You feel me? You feel me? Type of energy. They just going to come in and play some more games with you is what I'm getting here. Okay? And you ain't with that. Yeah, these people are not confident. That's why they are strategizing. Okay? Because these people are going through financial constraints. Okay? Financial burdens. Okay? We got here Pisces. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay? Or what have you. Okay? Your price for the word fit, okay. But these people here are financially burdened, they're financially burdened, Mookie. Okay, they need you, like I said, you don't need them. Yeah, we got here a Virgo as well. Okay, these people here are not confident, but they they it's like they're strategizing away here. What are they strategizing? Oh, we got here sexually incompatible and waiting, okay, dating others. Wow, um, there could either be a Pisces or a Virgo here. I don't know, that's sexually incompatible with someone or, or they feel like somebody's sexually incompatible and this person here is dating other people. Okay, or this could be you. Maybe you don't, I don't put it where it fits, y'all. Put it where it fits, honey. Yeah, physically attracted. Okay, so it's like you could be dating other people or something like that that you feel like is more physically attractive or somebody want to date you because you're physically attractive or something like that. Okay, yeah, we got here winter time. Okay, you could have been dealing with somebody in the winter time. This person here was scared to commit to you at the time. So now they are fantasizing about you. Okay, whoever this person is. All right. So if you have a little something, something, something in the winter time of last year, okay, it didn't work out or whatever it may be, yeah, um, maybe you felt like this person couldn't do what they can do in the bedroom or something like that, and it wasn't just that. This person here was scared to commit as well, okay? You know, you do me the main one go around embarrassing themselves and sleeping with a lot of people because they're trying to, you know, prove a point to themselves they can get down, but really they can't. You feel me? And that's why they got to see with multiple people to see what multiple people's opinions is about their 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 game. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever like that. Stroke or whatever you want to call it. And baby, they ain't hitting no shit. Yeah, we got here pretending. Okay? Somebody's pretending. Okay? Is what I'm getting here. All right, pretending to be, I don't know, uh, self-absorbed or feel like they all are bad or something like that. But it don't matter because at the end of the day, you're still not interested. Okay? Is what I'm getting here. That's for some of y'all. Okay? So you got a situation where there are people from your past, fake ass friends, family members, or what have you. I'm just getting in an ex here, but I'm just getting people here are realizing that you ain't playing no more games, okay? No more games, all right? You put in um, yourself first, and you're making yourself a priority, and that's just what it is, okay? Some of these people are feeling some type of way. Yeah, they all they're doing is looking you up online, okay? 
Yeah, gathering information. Yeah. This could be somebody here that owe you some type of financial support or something like that. Yeah, maybe have to do with a child, alimony, or the government. Okay, somebody could also be trying to figure out how are you surviving? Are you on government assistance or some shit like that? Like what? Like what? Yeah, we got here poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, and people. Exactly. Okay, somebody trying to figure out how are you getting financial support? Okay, how are you making it? Okay, are you still surviving? Are you in that five of coins energy? Because maybe somebody tried to put some root work on your finances is what I'm getting here. So that shit backfired onto them. Now they going through financial constraints or whatever like that. And these are people here, uh, a group of people for some of y'all. Okay, that's trying to figure out how are you still financially making it, okay, is what I'm getting here. So they're looking online to try to figure out, oh, hell no. This is like somebody trying to pocket watch you, okay, trying to see how much money you're making. Mm -mm. So be be careful with whoever's trying to dig into your business or what have you. We got here bargaining and begging. I'm telling you, there's some people here that wants to come towards you and beg your ass because, like I said, they could be, yeah, or maybe they need financial support. These people may need financial support, okay? They're trying to see if you're still making it or you're still, you know, saying got it together. You're still maintaining. Okay. They're like, okay, well, she still got it together. What have you? Let me see if I can go over there and, you know, bargain with her or beg her for some money or whatever like that. But like I said, these people here are in denial. Okay. They're not facing the truth. Okay. That you no longer want to deal with these people. You're no longer helping these people out or somebody could definitely be trying to like i said attack your money so that you will not move or something like that you won't get um a better opportunity a better home or something like that okay yeah because somebody wants you in that five of pentacles energy and five and, and poverty is what i'm getting and that's why you're getting justice here that's why you're getting justice and you see that she's packing or she's getting ready to pack or something like that for some of y'all okay or she just cleaning house or something like that or she may even be getting some new furniture if you some of y'all already got the crib okay or whatever like that okay is what i'm getting here yeah but you are protected by archangel michael come on now okay these people better, uh, <laughs> they better understand it, okay? You are prevented from any harm. There's divine intervention here. But we got here, Bounty Hunter. Didn't I say that? Okay, some of y'all keep it quiet. Some of y'all, it's like you ain't studying these people. And if they come towards you, and if they try it, okay, it's going to be a motherfucker is what I'm getting here. Like I said, you're going to call it out like it is, okay? Straight up. Like, if you don't get your depressed Okay, ask the fuck about my face, bitch. I don't fuck with you, bitch. It's some of y'all not playing anymore. It's not like you're just not saying anything to keep the peace, but you're like, get the fuck out of my face, get out of my yard. I don't fuck with you. It is what it is. Okay? It ain't like you going out in the streets talking about, oh, I don't fuck with that person. Da, 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 da. It's just the, <laughs> you don't fuck with them. You ain't even got to talk bad about these people or what these people did to you. It is what it is. You ain't fucking with these people, though. Okay, that's the FedEx. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so these people here, yeah, so now they're chasing you. Now they want to chase you now, okay, because they realize, you know what I'm saying, that you was a cool, laid-back, down-to-earth people, you know, person or what have you, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's like, you know how they say, you don't know what you have until it's gone type of energy. See, now these people here know what it is like, okay, not to have you around, but some of these people here, it's like, it's really itching at them, so it's like, they're, they're going, they're willing to lose their pride to keep up with you, to know what the hell you got going on next, because like I said, you're moving in silence, baby, is what I'm getting, and somebody is so afraid of you popping back out a better version of who you are, baby, okay, is what I'm getting here as well, it's like, it's little bitty, you know, immature little tactics like that, like somebody is so nosy, all right, they just gotta know what you got going on, baby, so they can either compete, either take it or prevent it from happening okay so some of y'all like like i said you're you're becoming more emotionally intelligent okay because there could have been a time like i said because you went from the page to the queen all right where you was emotionally disturbed or emotionally fucked up or it's like you always you always went into a frantic or you got loud or you had emotional outbursts like oh my god because somebody and you had every right to you feel me you had every right to because they kept poking and picking at your ass and you finally got tired. Okay, this could have happened in the past, but now you coming up real, real cold. Like you have no emotions. Okay, but it's not that you don't have emotions. Like I said, you're operating your dark empathic side. Okay, now they should have been careful. Okay, fucking with you, boo. Okay, because when you cut off people, you cut off people is what I'm getting here. All right, ain't no going back. When you done, you done. All right, period. 
But now they're gonna try to chase after you, boo. Yeah, drastic cut off, extreme cut off. I can't make this up because you're because you're you're leaving it behind. You're cutting them off. Ooh, pressure cooker, and it's ooh, it's getting to these people. The pressure is on, sweetie. They feel like, what do I got to do in order to get back into this person's energy? Is what I'm getting, y'all. But at the same time, they're afraid. Okay. These ain't nothing but users, though, whether they come in and use your energy, your time, okay, your resources, your finances, or something like that. But really, they're secret haters, okay, is what I'm getting here. But they feel like they about to just lose it, okay, because you ain't you ain't coming around, okay? Yeah, they want to come together, all right? They feel like the pressure is on and they have an anxiety because they are scared and they are in a panic, baby. Because to be honest with you, these people need help. SOS, rescue, okay? They need to be rescued, all right? Is what I'm getting here. And look at this gossip. Look at this gossip. Look at this gossip pop up. Mm. You love hell now. So you got the people here gossiping. About popping up. Like I said, didn't I say somebody here wanted to pop up on you or something like that? Okay, this could be a group of females or something that want to pop up on you. Okay, out of nowhere, surprise visit or something. Some of y'all, beware of this. Let's see, what's their intentions when they pop the fuck up? Okay, I don't think you're going to take that too kindly, especially if it's unannounced or you didn't call somebody in advance or whatever it may be. Okay, what's going to pop up? We got here cancer. Stress. There's a cancer that's stressed out here. Okay, there could be a lot of gossip surrounding a cancer. Okay, yeah, poor boundaries because this person has poor boundaries and Aquarius has some type of poor boundaries. Okay, maybe they tried to do that in the spring. Okay, this person is very unpredictable. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Somebody definitely tried to pop up on you. People could have been talking about this or this person could have lied and said that they pop up on you and you they never did or... I don't know, maybe they did, but they did. They couldn't find you where you was at. Maybe with that house, that moving or whatever, maybe it's like you changed homes. You're not in the same home that you used to be in, okay? So, and they were disappointed because they couldn't find shit. They didn't find you, okay, at that old address or some shit, okay? For some of y'all, yeah, that could happen in the spring, though. But there's a Cancer or a Aquarius here that has some type of poor boundaries. They don't respect your boundaries. It's what I'm getting this person. think that they can pop up on you. They can call you whenever they want to call you or something of that nature. All right? But you putting this person in a place. You're giving this person a dose of their own fucking medicine. Okay? That's what I'm getting. But you're not playing the game. You're serious than a motherfucker. You're very serious. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Mmm. Yeah, we got here born leader. You could be a born leader and you just don't have time for nobody no more. Okay? You just don't have time for people is what I'm getting. Yeah, you're not waiting. Aries energy. You could be an Aries or this is an Aries. But you're not waiting anymore. You're tired of these people and these individuals. Yeah, caution. Okay, now there's people here. Oh, what's caution? Let me, let me get some... Um... What's cautious? What's cautious? What's cautious, spirit? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so in the death card. So, Three of Pentacles. Some of y'all, yeah, Four of Swords. Some of y'all, it's like there could be, I don't know, maybe you need to watch out for somebody here. Especially if they are breadcrumbing you, okay? It's what I'm getting here. Yeah, somebody could definitely be trying to put something to rest here. And with the high priestess card being here, somebody could have contacted some type of um, a high priestess or a practitioner or something like that, okay? High priestess Pisces energy, yeah. Yeah, we got here justice. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely getting, be careful who you give to at this time, but some of y'all already know that, okay? Yeah. We got the Queen of Swords. It's time to put some people in a place and take some type of a leap of faith towards something, okay? It's what I'm getting here. Yeah, because... Something is ending here, okay? And I'm definitely getting, or somebody wanted something to end. This could be an opportunity, okay? Maybe you are a, a true speaker. Maybe you're very intuitive or something of that nature, okay? 
And maybe you meditated over a situation or there's a need to meditate over a situation. Okay. For some of y'all, this could have to do with a lover or something of that nature. Okay. Some of y'all could be putting everybody, like I say, everybody in motherfucking check. Your kids, your man, these people around you. Yeah, everybody's afraid of this, this energy that you're embarking in, okay? It's coming out very intimidating is what I'm getting. And people don't know where their spot is with you for some of y'all, okay? You know, like I said, somebody don't want to step on them toes, baby, straight up. Yeah, we got here the uh, Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Damn, okay? Maybe some of y'all are not giving love to somebody. I don't know what to say. What's the, what, yeah, something is coming to an end with the world card, okay? That's what I'm getting here. What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, walking away, okay? Somebody could be walking away from a Queen of Cups. Okay, we have here the King of Wands. All right, so this could be a fire sign walking away from a, a Queen of Cups that's emotionally unstable is what I'm getting here, Okay. Yeah. Dang. Then we got here the three of wands, judgment, and the temperance. Wow. So somebody here is about to experience some type of a slow death, a slow ending, or something like that. Okay. It's what I'm getting. This could be somebody in your circle. Or used to be in your circle is what I'm getting here. Yeah, somebody afar from you. This could be some like a friend with the Three of Cups energy. Okay, is what I'm getting. That's about to go through some type of a tire moment. Okay, this person is really stuck in their head. They feel trapped with the Eight of Swords. Be playing a victim. They in regret here because they're burdened right now. They got a lot on their fucking plate. Okay, for some of y'all, this could be a fire sign. Because you moved away from this person. All right, is what I'm getting here. This person had you out of balance anyway because this person is a liar, okay? They're very manipulative as well. They're, they're a gaslighter is what I'm getting. And you got enlightenment about this, this person, okay? You decided to be by yourself, okay? And just work on yourself. Work on your physical appearance. Work on your beauty regimen or something of that nature. And yes, yeah, somebody's also jealous of that as well, okay? Because you're moving forward. Yeah, Somebody feels like everything that you do turns out, you know, works in your favor is what I'm getting here. But you got a lot of people here that you cut off. I'm getting if there was anybody that you knew that was associated with anybody that you dealt with in the past. They get cut off too is the energy is what I'm getting because if you're associated with this person, you still deal with this person, this person still coming around you. I can fuck with you type of energy. Okay, guilty by association type of energy is what I'm getting straight up with this as well. Okay, yeah. And if there was like a, a crazy ass couple, King of Wands, okay, uh, Queen of Cups in reverse, it's like um, they broke it off, they broke up or what have you, okay? Like I'm getting, there's a lot of people here. Let me clarify that one more time. Um, cautious. What's Cautious. Like I said, moving on, thank you. Yeah, exactly. You're not waiting on anybody anymore, okay? And there's a lot of people here that's cautious, okay? They're afraid of you. Be I can't make it up because you're in this energy of being unfazed. You don't even care, okay? How they feeling, what they saying, because you a queen and you rising. You stepping into your power or you a king and you rising and you're stepping in your power, baby. And some people could say that you're lonely, but honey, that journey is going to be uh, lonely, okay? Period, point blank. Yeah, we got here fishing for comments. So, people could definitely be, like I said, trying to get underneath your skin. But it's like, the fact that you have emotionally matured, okay, they can't do shit. Okay, you coming up, like I said, very unbothered by what these people are doing. They trying to ruin your reputation all because you fucked up their ego. Like I said, waiting in reverse. You're not waiting on these people anymore. It is what it is. Because maybe you try to get people the benefit of the doubt, seeing if people going to change. And nobody's changing. Okay? Nobody's growing spiritually, mentally. Nobody's wising in the fuck up. Okay? is what I'm getting here. And you just ain't got time for these type of people anymore. And it just is what it is. Okay? What's this gossip about? Okay, family issues. This is your family gossiping about you, making up shit about you, lying on your name or whatever like that is what I'm getting here. Trying to dirt dig on you, find some information on you. So you got some hating ass female family members as well. Okay, but you dodging these hoes. Okay, is what I'm getting here. These hoes mad because at the end of the day, you don't need neither one of these bitches. Okay, for nothing is what I'm getting here. Okay, and they mad because of it. All right. Straight up. Yeah, fake accounts. Wow, you got people even 
your extra trigger. You got people even looking at you or making fake accounts just to stalk you and watch you. Okay, it's what I'm getting here. And they're triggered by what they see. Okay? They're triggered by what they see. Yeah, because some of y'all, like I said, you telling like it is. Okay, ain't no more sugar coating. Ain't no more coating. Ain't none of that. Okay? It's going to be that blunt, raw truth. And some of y'all, if you've been traumatized by, your, by like people in your family as well, all right, you the one that's going to break generational curses, it's like you're going to be you gonna be setting these people straight. Like, yeah, I'm so glad. Say if you got kids, for example. You're like, I'm so glad that I have a son or a daughter that has my spirit, okay, because I'm going to allow them to be the best version of themselves because I wasn't able to as a child. For example, and it's going to really affect some people in your family, okay, because they're like, oh, she talking about how I raised them or whatever the fuck it may be, okay? You feel me? Fuck that. Speak your truth wherever you are, okay? Don't let nobody dim your damn light. Yeah. We got here locked up, about to be always in and out. So this could be somebody here that's always locked up, that was creeping on you. Okay, so their karma is to get locked up so they can stop spying on you. This could be definitely an obsessive lover that keeps trying to start drama with you That's because because you reject them. Like I said, you acting cold, baby. You acting cold and you running the hell away from these people. Okay, straight up. That's how they did you. They treated you like you was a shit. They tried to be cold towards you. Okay, so if they can't take it, don't dish it out. You feel me? Top of energy. And that's exactly what's going on here. You feel me? Okay, you feel me? So let's see what else. Damn, that's two. We got here. Oh my gosh. Calm the fuck down. Exactly. And that's exactly what y'all did. Calm the fuck down. Because if you didn't, baby, it's going to be a whole heap of mess. You feel me? Okay, 99.9% .9 of your problems will be better handled if you simply calm the fuck down before you do anything. Like I said, you're becoming emotionally intelligent. Okay? Nobody can get underneath your skin, baby. Nobody. Nobody. Okay? All right? Nobody. And that's what these people tried to do for so many years. Get underneath your skin. Okay? Attack you. Attack your beauty. Attack your physical physique. Attack your relationships. Attack your, your finances or what have you. Okay? But you know that everything, like I said, everything that they tried to take from you, you're getting it back, baby. And that's just what it is. Okay? All right? Try it. Are you butt hurt about something? Calm the fuck down. Are you afraid? Calm the fuck down. Okay, is it the house on fire? Okay, well, get out of there. Call 911 and then calm the fuck down. See, some of y'all, like I said, your approach to things. Okay, you ain't getting mad. You getting glad. <laughs> you getting glad out here in the streets, period. We got here, gossip dies when it hits wise ears. Mm. Wow. My nose is itching like crazy too. Y'all, that's so crazy that that's being said too. Because it's like people know that they can't come to you with gossip because you ain't the one to hear about it. You don't give a fuck because it ain't your business. Okay, it's what I'm getting here. And these low, vibr low vibrational people like to come together and gossip. That's all they try to do is gossip. Whoever these people are, because they're jealous of other people, they're envious of other people, or you, or what have you, and all they know how to do is be petty. Okay, you on the other hand, somebody come to you with that shit, okay, you turn a blind ear to that bullshit, or you simply say, like I said, you're coming off real, real direct. Some of you are like, I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, that's their problem, that's their problem. Now I don't want to hear it. And I don't want to hear you talk about this person going to be right back in their motherfucking face the next day. So keep that to yourself, sweetie, top of energy, you feel me? Okay. It says, here's how to get wise. Refuse to hear stories that aren't yours to hear, okay? Refrain from telling stories that aren't yours to tell. If someone comes at you with an, oh my God, did you hear about so-and-so? Stop them right in their track and ask, you know, ask yourself, is it gossip, rumor, dirt, or such junk? This tends to kill everyone's shit talking boner, period. Okay, and I'm gonna end it right there. Keep doing what you're doing, love, because you definitely got these people where you want them, okay? But ain't no second chances around here no more, is what I'm getting for some of y'all, okay? But I love you guys so freaking much. I need anything else from me? Look in the description box below, okay? If you guys want to check out more of my content, go check out my TikTok account. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.